guys welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come back to this channel consider subscribing support this channel by subscribing by the way don't forget to click on the bell icon you will be the first to know when i upload a new video remember straight into the video we are still looking at the uae labor law the new labor law that is coming into effect 2022 february 2nd what is the new labor law Remember, when you talk about the new labor law, it's not going to only benefit the employer, but it's also going to benefit the employee at one moment of time. Remember, why the new law is coming in? It's just to create a good, good working conditions, a good working environment between the people employing and the people that are given work to do. Remember, much as the employee we are benefiting but also the employer are protected in one way or the other and today's video we want to look at what you call the non-competing clause that is in part of the part of the amendments of the law what are we talking about when we talk about the non-competing clause remember before the new law that is coming into effect in the uae someone had the right to change to a competing business it was part of your contract you would resign from the same job let's say for example from the security job one company and you change to another company which is the security company without your employer deterring you from joining that company that is what you call the what you call the competing clause you'd freely move to a new you'd freely move to a new job still in the same line of business but remember, the new law that is coming into effect, February 2022, there is what we call a non-competing clause. You'll be, you'll, be, you'll be signing what you call a non-competing clause with your employer. What are we talking about the non-competing clause? Is that if you sign a contract with, let's say for example, a cleaning company or a security company, and you wish to resign or you wish to resign from this company you cannot join another company that is doing security or doing cleaning because you have what you call in your contract you'll have what you call a what you call a non-competing clause that non-competing clause does not entitle you to move to the same company that is doing the same business with your former employee why is it like that it is made it is made or it is to make sure that it protects the interests the business the uh, the confidential information of the former employee so hope guys you're trying to get me what i'm talking about so if you are planning or if you are going to sign up a contract with that company let's say for example a security company let's say for example a cleaning company let's say for example a delivery company remember when you sign you'll have a contract of three years but remember part of the amendments is that you can decide to resign even if after probation depending on which kind of mis me, me, misunderstanding or what kind of pertaining disagreements you have with your employer but still much as you can resign to a new job freely when in your contract the old contract you sign with your employer has what you call a non-competing clause which is part of the amendments in the new labor law that means you cannot go to another business that to another company that does the same work from your former company hope i'm giving you the example right this is max in the security company from let's say transgard security company right after my probation period of six months i decided to resign because of some reasons i'm not comfortable i'm allowed to resign but the new labor law i'm allowed to resign and move on to another company so i decide to move on another company which other company can i go to yes this is where the answer comes from yes the another company i can go to 
is I can either go to a delivery company or I can go to a cleaning company, but I cannot go to a security company. Why, why is it that I cannot go to a security company? Because in your contract for that former employee, there is what you call a non-competing clause. You cannot go to the same company that is doing the same line of business with your former employer. I hope that is right. So you should be very careful as you're going to resign, as you're going to look for new companies. But to remember, even if you're going to look for a new company, there's also another amendment in the law that before you resign, it must be a genuine reason that is, sub that is submitted to the uh, Minister of Human Resources and Amateurization for you to be considered. Otherwise, if you're not so careful still, you'll end up, you'll end up paying your employer part of your wages, which should be 50%. Hope I talked about that in the video. Thank you so much uh, coming back to this channel. Let us try to look at more amendments that are coming in the new labor law. Where are we benefiting and where are you benefiting in one way or the other? Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe and to support this channel. It's Makes from the Makes Creation TV.